Rob a cop trailer, remake slash reboot looks surprisingly good. Video. Follow at S-L-A-T-E. News politics. Tech. Business. Arts. Life. Health science. Sports. Double X. Podcasts photos. Video. Slate test. Blogs. My Slate. 99 plus. Ask a slave proves that historical ignorance can be funny, said. Katy Perry's roar video, less hear me roar than give me a makeover. Dave Chappelle turns Hartford incident with room full of white people into comedy. Browbeat. Slate's cultured blog. Older Katy Perry's roar video, less hear me roar than give me a makeover. The Robocop remake looks surprisingly good. By Chris Wade. Vertical bracket. Posted Friday, September 6, 2013, at 10.37 a.m. Tweet. Mislit. Save the story. Follow all blog articles. Follow the Browbeat blog. Follow stories by Chris Wade. My Slate is a new tool that lets you track your favorite parts of Slate. You can follow authors and sections, track comment threads you're interested in, and more. A new Robocop. YouTube. Our first look at Brazilian director Jose Padilla's 2014 Robocop remake is here, and it is unexpectedly promising. While hewing fairly closely to the original S premise, after he is severely wounded, good cop Alex Murphy, Joel Kinnaman, is transformed into a part man, part robot cop by a corporation with possibly shady motivations Padilla seems to have made enough new stylistic and story choices to make his version its own thing. The campier elements of the original have been stripped away, I doubt we will see any Bixby Snyder in the remake. And though I've long been bored with the gritty reboot method Robocop's armor has gone from a DeLorean-style brushed aluminum finish to Dark Knight Black it has probably a wise approach here, aping the over-the-top style that Verhoeven mastered would surely have led to a faint carbon copy. Meanwhile, the cast is full of just the sort of fun performers Samuel L. Jackson, Michael Keaton, Michael K. Williams, hey, even J. Brubshull, who can chew scenery and deliver ridiculous sci-fi villainy with conviction. So Padilla may give us a gritty Robocop that nonetheless maintains a real sense of fun. It is also worth noting that in this remake Murphy apparently retains his personality and memories after his Robocopification. So rather than being the story of a robot learning to recall his humanity, we have a story of a man learning to deal with his new, and possibly sinister, robot brain. This also seems like a good move, since the film won't he be able to rely on Peter Weller's amazing physical chops, which perfectly, and perhaps ironically, conveyed the cold, neutered humanity of his Robocop. Speaking of physicality, let us be real, it is going to be awesome to see Robocop actually do the amazing action stunts you'd hope to see from a Robocop. While the awkwardness of the original had its charms, I am fully ready to watch Robocop make 50-foot running leaps and sprint at 40 miles per hour to chase down bad dudes. After all, realism is an appropriate style for this movie now, given how nearly the world of Robocop now resembles our own. Read more from the trailer critic. Want more of your favorite content in the MSN homepage? Try the news, sports or entertainment editions. Tweet. Older Katy Perry's roar video, less hear me roar than give me a makeover. Point SL viral container left curly bracket border top 1BX dotted number 666, border bottom 1BX dotted number 666, float, left, display, none, margin bottom, minus 5BX padding bottom. 8BX right curly bracket. Slate's most viral. You used to get one life. Now you get two. Number not dead yet. Are you a language bully? If so, give it a rest. Why we post nothing and dash nothing and dash about our kid in line. You should do the same for your kids. Click here to load comments. Brev. Like. Follow. RSS. 1. Either the best or the worst thing that ever happened to the Onion by Farnet Manju vs.